Is this really how you're still launching Minecraft in 2022? Oh, hell no! Let's get you set up with MultiMC. MultiMC makes it a lot easier to do things like play mod packs, install Optifine, all that stuff that you want to do. Just go to Google and download it. MultiMC allows you to install a variety of instances of Minecraft very easily. Just click on this download and install button, get the version that you need here, and when that's done, just open it up. Inside the zip file, you're going to find a folder. Drag that folder anywhere onto your computer. That's where MultiMC will exist, and then just open the MultiMC file. That's going to take you straight into the launcher. Select your language and click Next. Now select your Java version. In most people's case, that's going to be the one with the yellow star next to it. Press that and press next again. Now just press finish and you've got MultiMC. Let's connect your Minecraft account. You're going to go up here and manage accounts. Now from here, you can add a Minecraft or a Mojang account. So go ahead and log into your account now. And on the left, you'll see some more settings. We're not really going to mess with any of that. So just click on close. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on add instance. This is what version of Minecraft you want to install. You can install vanilla Minecraft, mod packs, as you can see here. You can install basically whatever kind of Minecraft you want going all the way back to 2009. Not only can you install Minecraft releases, but you can also install snapshots, beta versions, the alphas. As a quick demonstration, we're going to click on 118.2. That's the most current release as of the video. Click OK and you've got 118.2 installed. You can just double click on that to launch 118.2. You say that's the same as just opening the launcher and playing Minecraft. What's the difference? Well, let's just say that your friend now has a server he wants you to get onto and it's 118.1. With MultiMC, it's really easy to just click Add Instance, click on 118.1, click OK, double click on the 118.1 installation, and now you can play with your friend. For my community and our purposes, the most important thing to be able to install after that is a map. So let's set up a 118.2 with a map. Now the map that I use is called Zeros Minimap, and when people come by my live stream, they often see me using it and ask how to get it. This is what you're going to do. Set up a new 118.2 installation. You're going to go to Google and search again for Zeros Minimap. And where we're going to get most of our mods is on CurseForge here, so click on this link. There are files listed down the side, but if you click on this Files tab here, it's the easiest way to ensure you get the correct version. You can install Forge or Fabric depending on what you want to do. I use Fabric for most things. So we're going to go up to the top here. We're going to see 118.2 for Fabric with 39,000 downloads. That's looking like the right one. Let's just download that here, and then when it's done, click this button and then Show in Folder. Now I downloaded both the Forge and the Fabric version, so let's delete the Forge really quickly. We've decided on Fabric. We're going to go back to MultiMC here, click on the version that we want to install, Fabric and Minimap 2. Click on Edit Instance, either there or in the sidebar over here. From the Edit Instance button, we're going to see Install Forge or Install Fabric. We are going to install Fabric, so click on that. Now it's going to ask you which version of Fabric you want to install. If you don't know any differently, click on the one with the yellow star next to it. Click OK. And because I use Fabric regularly, I know I need Fabric API as a loader mod. Let's go grab Fabric API very quickly. You can go back to CurseForge or just search it on Google. Grab Fabric API. We're going to go back to that Files tab as I showed you before. Once you have the correct version for 118.2, you're going to click on Loader Mods and then Add. And now we can add the Zeros Minimap. And then we'll go back in and add the Fabric API as well. Once both of those are installed, click Close and just launch your new version. Now, as Minecraft opens up, you're going to be able to start a new world, jump in and check out that you've got the map. We're just going to go single player. I'll start up a new creative world quickly. And as we load into the world on the top left, you can see our Zeros minimap and it will start to load. And there we go. Now we've got a map. Now, if you want the world map that goes along with this, you just search Zeros world map. Go to CurseForge, download that. Come back to your multi MC, click add again, drag the world file directly in here and click open. And there you go. Now it's in there, and when you launch, you'll have a world map as well. From there, you can add whatever mods you want. I tend to use things like Lightmatica, Freecam, Light Level Overlay, Farsight, so I can see further than the server render distance on servers that I play. There are literally hundreds of mods you can choose from, and you're just going to have to do a little bit of research to see what you want to use. This is how my multi-MC actually looks. I've got a bunch of different installations set up. I actually name them so I can tell what worlds or what servers I'm playing on, so they're very easy to find when I go to play. Now, one of the things I mentioned earlier is you can install mod packs through MultiMC. Let's show you how to do that real quick. You're just going to click on Add Instance here. From there, you can click on any of the launchers. I click on CurseForge. You can look, see RLCraft. I'm going to open Pixelmon. Let's install that real quick. Once you let that finish, Pixelmon will be installed as well in your MultiMC, and you can go from playing vanilla to playing Pixelmon very, very quickly. And that's really all there is to a simple installation of MultiMC. You can add a vanilla instance, quick modded instance, or an actual mod pack. I hope that simplifies it for you guys that want to use the mini maps that we use on our servers. Come join us over on the live stream. I'll see you then. Bye.